Hey everyone, this is Bronson Strickland with the MSU Deer Lab and uh, a question we're always asked is about uh, bedding areas, specifically buck bedding areas. What do they look like? How can we manage for them? Uh, and this was something that we found with our research is, uh, as you recall, we had all these bucks with GPS collars on them so we could tell exactly where they were spending time, exactly where they were bedding. And as you might imagine, they always would choose places with very uh, thick and developed cover or screening cover. And so if you look behind me here, you can see that the, uh, first of all, sunlight is coming through the tree canopy. So sunlight is hitting the forest floor. And as such, there are plants growing on the forest floor, which is gonna provide, again, cover, herbaceous cover uh, for the deer. So this is a great example of uh, where deer, and in this case bucks, are going to be spending time. So another point I wanted to make is that when you look out on this landscape, we have this place that is really developed in cover, which is where the buck is going to be bedded, and then when they are leaving this bedding cover and they're going a particular direction going to, to find food, uh, in this case a buck could go this direction uh, or it could go to the left. So as an example, if you'll notice here, we have the bedding cover behind me, and we put this uh, this buck decoy here, just to show you a very big buck, a nice Boone and Crockett buck decoy, but we put him here just to demonstrate how wide open uh, this understory is. More than likely, this is not gonna be the place that a buck is gonna choose to navigate between bedding cover and food. So now I wanna compare uh, a place where we have the bedding area developed with cover, and now we actually have an area that is leading to food that is also developed, not as much. Uh, the sunlight's a lot more filtered here, but enough sunlight is getting through the forest canopy to provide enough cover on the ground. And in this particular instance, when a buck could choose to go this route or another route, this is indeed the place where the buck is traveling, and also does and other deer. So think about that from a management perspective in terms of linking uh, more developed cover and having some cover to provide a pathway to get to food. And then also think about it from a hunting perspective. If you were a bow hunter especially, this is the type of area where you want to put a stand to try to capture uh, a buck or any deer moving between bedding cover and food.